Hi, hello everybody, it's Loyal, and today we're going to go over the system changes that's coming up in the mid set. Now Riot tweeted, well, especially Mortdog, but technically Riot, uh, about it, and first of all, he says that in order to make TFT system a bit more intuitive, which in other terms means simple, simpler, which I don't like, I like for it to be complicated or you know maybe they have a little bit of a mechanic that you cannot exploit but squeeze some more value out let's just say they decided to make some big changes to how the items are structured there are four types of items with consistent rules for how they work let's talk about them so of course there's damage items support items maybe there's even orn items let's take a look uh Build, uh, core items built from components, the usual ones. These are used to put on a champion to make them more powerful. You can always expect that core item to make your wear stronger. For this to be true, we needed to make some new items. There are six new core items. So now Harvester, they're taking out Shroud, and we'll go over in the future where Shroud went, or in a bit, not in the future, Jesus. Uh, we have Nightmare Harvester. Deal 15% bonus damage. Increase to 30% while below 60%. Now, how do you... This this smells to me like a frontline item. Because you want to be 60%. And there's no way for you to do damage if you're in the backline. Or take damage, that is. So, maybe get a GA. Get a Night Harvester. Drop below 60%. Use GA. Well, that means you can't have healing. Because you'll overheal up to 60 so, I don't know. Good thing it has crit. So it helps with JG. So it's GA, JG, or IE, depending if you do AD or AP. Plus Night Harvester. That's the best way to put it. It's basically like a Guard Breaker or a Giant Slayer. But you always get the 15% get the bonus damage. So it's good. In theory, it's good. It's okay. It's simple enough. I'm just wanting a bit more. But hey, Adaptive Helm does do have a bit more. I just know what I don't know what I just said there. But we moving on. We also have used this opportunity to make sure that the new core items filled some spaces for champs types that needed more choices, like AP frontline or melee bruisers. This should be also lead to a less awkward item opening combination. Nobody wanted ice cream cone. Nobody wanted it to start with shroud. Nobody wanted it to start with Sephir. So that definitely fix. You will feel really bad doing any of those. So let's see what ice cream cone turn into. The holder gains bonuses based on their starting position. So it's basically like those gang the new gangplank five star that's gonna change uh, the offensive and backline mode. So front two rows ability power and armor resistance. Only the holder. Doesn't work like ice cream. Doesn't share it. So okay. So AP, armor, magic. Decent tank item. Not bad. Back row, 35 power, and gain 15 mana. So this is great. This is great for a caster. I think it's good. It's a good item. It's a option over Shojin or blue buff. Is it better than Shojin? It's basically the same if your attack speed is... 0, 7 ish It's basically the same, but you don't have to rely on autoing. So if you have more attack speed, which I doubt it, because base attack speed is never 1. If it's 1, then it's equal. So, is it better than Shojin? Yes. Gives power, gives mana, starts mana. Yes. So, good item. Versatile. I like it. Let's see what else we got. Radiant items. Uh, we can skip this. He just says that radiant items will be just be stronger options. So the baseline of radiant items is always that they're usually more often than not double their power or more than double. So my prediction is like 50 AP. I know double is 30, but in this scenario, when it's this low, it, the math makes more sense. If it's like 50 and then like 70 here. If you compare uh, Protector's Vow with Radiant Protector's Vow, you can see that in instead of 20, you get 70 defense. So 
when the number is lower, the double is a bit stronger. For example, blue buff is only 10 AP, but the radiant one gives you 50 AP. So 35, this is good with 70, more mana, probably 20, uh, 30. So, yeah, seems pretty good. This is, yeah, whatever. Artifacts, these are unique items with interesting outputs that also always make the word stronger. Anytime you see a red bordered item, it's a orn item. This means I don't like some shimmer skill items are now artifacts. Nice. I love Muggle's Mail. Always OP. Very good. They shifted some of them. Uh, the HP used to give you like 300 or 450 into taking damage. So if you, you can burst enemies down. So it's a little bit weaker, but it still gives the gold. So you basically focus on having a good frontline with this and maximizing its value. So it's nice that we get always get to see it. I love that item. Golden Mancers. I'm not that fan of it, but it's still good. But not a fan. This is my favorite still. Mm, they lowered the gold. Let's, let's see. 25 power. They took out the mana. Gold in your bank up to 30. So that's 55 max. But you get the kill. Meh. Logos Mel is the best. Always. Support items. All the, Basically all the support items... Like Shroud, Sephir, Aegis of Legion. There's some new ones, it seems. This one's a bit interesting. Empowers all eyelets in the column behind the holder. So you either have maybe... this. You don't give this to a tank, basically. But it feels weird because it gives defense. Like the attack speed is amazing, right? It's basically a Zeke's. But you could also use it for defense. You could also use it for brawlers. But that means you have to put something in the front. And then all your other brawlers and a little bit in the back. It's a bit awkward. But I mean, definitely worth it. It's your whole line. So that's pretty good. Portal is still there. Oh, also, that reminds me. They changed ZZ Portal for another item. Uh, it's Nasher's Tooth. Which is an AP item. It gives you AP attack speed. It gives you base a uh, good amount of base attack speed, and after you cast your first ability, you get forty percent more attack speed. So that's cool. Good for attack uh, attack speed based AP units. For you know, glove and not not bow and and belt. So that's cool, I guess. Support support items are basically gonna be found only in. Maybe portals, maybe augments for sure, and any other source, but not not naturally. So yeah, cool. We got oh, we also they also made a change here. I'm not a big fan of this. They talk about how they lower the shred. Used to be forty percent, maybe fifty. Most of them were forty. They lowered the the penetration percent. But they increase a bit of the base stats. This is to, so 5 more AD, 15 more attack speed, Ionic Spark, a bit AP. It's not great. I'm not I'm not a fan of this. I don't like Ionic because of that. I'd rather go Shift. And even Shift, I don't know. I don't see any nerfs on that, but I'm assuming it's also 30. Now, this is a new item instead of Sephir. Grants 15 armor and magic resistance for the first 10 seconds of combat. That's it. But it works as a ionic spark, but for armor. This one's a bit. The armor sucks. I don't, I'm not. A fa I'm really not a fan of this. Fifteen only. If you compare this to ionic spark, right? Ionic spark does damage when they cast. So it kind of, it's kind of like the opposite. Instead of doing damage, you you tank. This has never been like an item that does a lot of damage, so it's not something. I guess it's fair, but it's just so underwhelming the second thing that it does. And the whole time Ionic Spark has been in the game, you've never been like, "Oh, Ionic Spark saved my game," or "It did this," or "Did that." Nah. Ooh. All this should lead to a more understandable item system that is easier to approach while keeping the depth and exciting decisions. Good. I just want. Keeping the death and the decision making. 
So that adds a ton of skill expression and our most engaged players were excited. What? We're excited for everyone to get their hands on it. A little bit of a nerf on their Anders Omen. Meh. Understandable. But it's been moved to a support item. So, yeah. And that's it. Those are the item changes, mostly. I would go over some of the traits, but... Yeah. Gotta test them on the field. So, yeah. Those are the changes. Let me know what you think. I think most of it is positive. I call me a, a gatekeeper or whatever, but I feel like the game has been getting more complicated lately, and but they're still trying to cater towards, you know, a new audience. Of course, it makes sense. That's what needs to do, what they need to do, but, and, but they're still keeping a balance on keeping the game exciting and making more decision making and more information. There's still a lot to learn. At least for me. <laughs> so yeah. Have a good one everybody. Thanks for watching. And see you on the mid set.